Hello, my name is Chris Scott, and on behalf of the Newport Library Arts Center in Newport, New Hampshire, I'd like to welcome you to a series of craft opportunities hosted by me. This is the little freestanding dog that we're going to make out of cardboard today. I put mine into a little park that I drew, and you can draw one too. I'm going to show you the materials that we need um, to make the project now. The materials you need for this project are a pair of scissors, a pencil. I like to have a black marker for doing some outlining, something to color with. I have markers here, but you could also use colored pencils, crayons, or even paint. The other thing that you need is some cardboard, lightweight cardboard. You could use cardstock. This is an old file folder. Uh, you could also use the kind of cardboard that a cereal box is made out of. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut our lightweight cardboard or cardstock into about four by eight sections. So this is a piece of uh, cardstock and I just folded it and cut it in half. This is an old file folder and I just cut it into a couple of pieces that were about the right size. I'm gonna work with this manila file folder because it'll be easier for you to see when I draw. All right, so now we're going to draw our dog. I'm gonna start by drawing a circle. Then that is going to be the head. We're going to draw another circle. That's going to be the nose and the mouth of the dog. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to draw a big oval. That's going to be the body of our dog. I'm going to add a tail. Here it is. Big fluffy dog tail. Now I'm gonna start connecting the pieces and it's gonna look a lot more like a dog. So I'm gonna connect the back of the dog to the head of the dog. I'm going to connect the front of the head to the snout, yeah, kind of square it off a little bit. I'm going to connect the bottom of the circle here to the head circle. And I'm going to connect that circle to the body. Notice that our dog doesn't have any legs yet. I'm gonna take a separate piece of paper, there's my dog's body drawn, and I'm gonna draw the legs. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this piece of paper, this piece of cardboard in half. And where the fold is, I'm going to put that toward me, and I'm going to draw an upside down U on the cardboard, just like this. Then inside of that U, I'm going to draw another upside down U, just like that. I might put some little toes right here. Now I'm going to cut these pieces out. Make sure that I have the two pieces folded together. Cut my U shape. Just like this. Then I'm going to cut this smaller U shape. Just like that. Now I have a funny looking shape. It looks like an O. But right here where I have the fold, I'm going to snip right across there. So now I have two sets of dog legs. Now I'm going to draw in some details. Here is my dog's head and my dog's body, my dog's fluffy tail, here's the top of my dog's back, my dog's neck, back of its head. Now I'm going to add an eye, I'm going to add a nose, that, that looks like a pretty friendly dog so far, maybe he needs to be smiling, he needs an ear, so we're going to make an ear. And notice our dog still doesn't have any feet. No legs, no feet. But I am going to color my dog right now. 
I think my dog is going to be brown. So I'm going to color in my dog's fluffy tail and I'm going to color in my dog's fluffy ear. Maybe my dog is part brown and part white. It's got some nice fur to make texture. Draw in fur. Now I've spent a few minutes coloring in my dog parts. Here's the body of the dog and it's colored on both sides. And here are the legs of the dog and they are colored on both sides. Now, they look pretty furry to me. This is a nice brown dog. And the next thing we want to do is we want to cut. I can take these two and I can stack them together, these two sets of legs, and I can cut a slit right in the middle of the dog legs and the top of the U. You can see that in there, both of them cut. Now I'm going to cut a slip where I think the dog's front legs should go and a slit where I think the dog's back legs should go. And I'm going to take one set of legs. First, I'm going to fold them because they stand up better if you fold them a little bit back and forth. Now I'm going to fit the slit in the U of the legs into the slit of the where the back legs go. I'm going to fold again, same way, the front legs, and I'm going to fit them right into that front slit on the dog. Then I need to adjust them a little bit. There, my dog is standing. There's my standing dog. Now I can put him with his friend in the park. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you have fun making freestanding dogs, but I also encourage you to think about what other kinds of animals you might be able to make this way. Maybe farm animals or zoo animals, maybe a whole set of dinosaurs, stegosaurs and brontosaurs, or maybe they're fantasy animals like unicorns or dragons. Use your imagination and have a lot of fun. Bye.